welcome to B&B RV here in sunny Colorado. This is our 32 foot Coachman Freelander with the bunks in the back. We're going to walk around the outside of this, show you how everything in the outside works, and we're going to take a look on the inside. So come along the outside here. This first compartment on the outside is your propane. Propane's a fixed tank, so if you do have to fill that up on your trip, that's something that you'll pull up to a campground, a truck stop, U-Haul, any place that has propane can fill that for you, but it's not a self-serve. We've got a cup, uh, storage compartment there. That's access to your onboard generator. All our units are going to have a generator so that you're fully self-contained. Anytime you need to start that up to get electricity, there's just a button inside that we'll show you here in a bit. This is the electricity, so there's two ways to get electricity for your motorhome. This cord right here is the electric, and there's a plug-in inside here for your generator. So you need to have it plugged in in here for the generator. You get to the campground, you're going to pull that plug out, plug it in at the campground. When you leave the campground, you put this cord in. Remember to plug it into the generator outlet. That's common, that, uh, something that you'll forget. Plug it into that outlet or you won't get any power when you start your generator. This is just a hookup for cable TV, so if you're out there somewhere, you're going to rough it. You're going to hook up to cable TV at the campground. That's your cable hookup. There will be a cable in the compartment here. This unit has two places to hook up your water hose, so when you're getting fresh water on board, this back one is to refill your onboard tank. So when you need to refill, hook up your hose here. There's a gauge inside that you can watch to let you know how fast it's filling up. But once this gets full, it will just run over underneath. There's just an overflow. This other one is to hook up if you're just going to leave your hose hooked up to City Connection for pressurized water. So this one won't fill it. This is the only way to fill your onboard water. This fuel, just regular unleaded fuel. These uh, units have a 55-gallon fuel tank. Here's your wastewater, so when you get ready to go dump your tank, you have a black tank, which is your toilet, and a gray tank, which is your um, sink and showers. So there's a hose here that's stowed into the bumper. You bring that hose up, you take this cap off, put the hose on, put the hose down in the drain, and then this front lever here with the black handle is your black tank for the toilet. So you want to just pull that black handle straight forward, let the toilet dump, let all the contents dump out of that, close that, then do your gray tank because that gray tank has soapy water from your sinks and shower. Let that out second, it'll kind of rinse everything out for you. When you get that all closed up, put your, rinse your hose, put it back into the bumper there. When you get back inside after everything's dumped, in the cabinet in the bathroom, there's a bag with some little pouches for chemical throw one of those pouches down into the toilet and flush it down and that keeps everything from uh, smelling and it helps it break up so that it'll uh, dump easier next time. This is the larger of the storage compartments on the outside. There is a little clip here on each of these doors that will help hold this up for you. This compartment has a pass through so if you do have longer items they'll fit in there. But you're going to have four camp chairs. We've got a set of blocks that you use for leveling. And anytime you park for more than about 15 minutes, you have to get level for the fridge. The fridge has to circulate the fluids and, and the blocks to help you do that. So if the left or the right, the front, the back, whatever's low, just put those blocks down, pull up on them to get level. In here, you're gonna have a cable for TV. We are beside the light rail here, so occasionally you might hear a train go by. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> we got a cable for TV some gloves in there for you to use, and there will be a water hose. These are RV water hoses. They're lined so they won't taste like hose. They're specifically made for RVs, and that's what you're going to hook up to the water source to either have pressurized water or refill your onboard tanks. As we mentioned down there with the dumping, your, uh, your hose is stowed. This one's back in here a little ways. Sometimes they'll wiggle back a little when you're driving. But we have a hose in here. This is just stored in here, and this is the hose that you're going to pull up, pull out to uh, dump your tanks anytime your tanks get full. Places that you can dump um, are the campground that you're staying at. Sometimes truck stops will have it. In some states, rest areas will have dump sites. 
So uh, there's also an app you can get on your phone. Um, can't remember exactly. It's called Dump dump sites, but go on and look for an app for RV dumps and you'll also have that available to see any dumps in the area. We put a ladder on every one so that we can inspect the roof each time, <clears throat> each time it comes in and out, but it's not a patio, so stay off the roof except for emergencies. Very slippery when it's wet up there. This is a pass-through storage. Back to the other side, the small storage area here, another small storage area here. This is um, an outlet, so if you have electricity, if you're plugged into electricity or the generator's on, there's an outlet on this side if you needed that. Another small storage and small storage up here. These small storage are kind of nice for shoes, things like that, by the door. And then right inside the door, we have a couple of other switches here. There's one big switch that's your battery disconnect. You're just going to leave that on the entire time you're out. There's two light switches, one for the inside, one for the outside to make it easier to get in and out. And then there's an awning switch, so it just says in and out. And that's all there is to that, is just push the awning out. It automatically goes out. All our awnings are upgraded to be electric awnings. The awning is something that you do not, you do not want to leave out if it's windy. You do not want to leave it out if you're gonna be away from the RV for any length of time. The wind will take these things off in a heartbeat, so it's nice if you have a day where you wanna sit out under that uh, awning, but just make sure you're there with it. Uh, if you're gonna leave, just do not leave it out. And of course, that ha awning has to be uh, put back in before you take off out of the campground, of course. Just pull it all the way in. Once it snaps in, just uh, let go of the button. On the back side of the door here, you'll see a little latch. This latch will keep this door uh, open for you. And then on the door, there's two, uh, two locks. You have a lock for the handle and a deadbolt lock. And a lock for the handle and a deadbolt lock here. The screen has a separate handle so that you can separate the screen from the door. And then it has its own little closure. So let's go inside and take a look at this 32-foot bunkhouse model.